What's going on guys, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. So I scrapped a video that I was gonna release and then I thought I still wanted to put something out but I really had nothing that I wanted to talk about. Nothing that I can just spit out right away. And then I see on my recommended page, iDubs uploaded a video. And very clickbaity, didn't see what it was. It actually made me wanna click, good job. Now here's the thing. There's a lot of people that have talked a lot of trash about the YouTube boxing scene, all the stuff that's been happening, like it's been trending. Jake Paul has actually been doing surprisingly well. You know, we all want to see him be destroyed, but he's picking the right people as boxers do. You have all these people that you don't even know who they are, but they have unblemished records. I mean, how many people knew? <laughs> I don't even need to get into that. I don't need to get it. I don't I don't need to rant about that. But the thing is, I'm a fan. You know why? Because there was the whole diss track era that I thought was just so stupid because these people were terrible. If they were good at dissing and doing diss tracks, then I'd be like, oh, this is great. It's like when, you know, real respected rappers do diss tracks. It's great. It's great fun. But like Jake Paul or uh, Rice Gum or anything doing that was garbage. So it's like the fighting was cool. It's like they're talking trash and now they're going to back it up and actually get in the ring and slug each other. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of don't talk about it, be about it. So this is all good. And it's hilarious to hear iDubs 100% down to fight uh, Rice Gum because Rice Gum has been talking trash for a long time. And then the funny thing he mentions in the video that Rice Gum slid into iDubs' wife, uh, a niece or whatever, slid in her DMs saying the same thing like, fight me, bruh. And then iDubs does what he does because, you know, iDubs is. He's very thorough. I'm talking about, this is how thorough this guy is. F four years ago, I DM'd him asking, hey, could you do a cameo for my video um, on the pineapple pizza versus the world? I'm like, just give me your take. All I need is a small clip. I, you don't need to do anything. But this is what he does. What a delicious, savory pizza. But it's not sweet enough. I think we need a little bit more sugar. Ah, now that's a pizza I can get behind. So essentially, dude doesn't miss, so I'm not surprised they didn't went through all the trouble to actually set up a legitimate boxing event. And then when it came time, he's, you know, Rascom ghosts him. He's like, ah, never mind, I don't want to do it. Which is crazy, because I'm like, you can't talk all of that shit for this long, this many years, and then all of a sudden, once it becomes real, you just kind of like, oh, no, never mind. So iDub still wants it to happen. He still wants to fight Rice Gum, and I want this to happen so badly. But he's also saying other influencer, other people, like, step up. He's willing to fight, like, damn near anyone that makes sense, right? And I wish it made sense for me. But I'm telling you, I would love to be on the undercard. I would love to be somewhere on the undercard in... Just because it's something that I've always envisioned. It's something that I'm like, as this stuff has been happening, I'm like, none of these people know who the fuck I am. So it doesn't matter. None of them know who I'm, they're going to be like, who the hell is this guy? So it just like kind of how I am with them. A lot of these people on the undercard or whatever, they might have big audiences and stuff, but I don't know who they are. I don't follow that side of YouTube. So essentially, like, this is how it would be for me. They'd be like, who the hell, is, who's that guy? You know, like, oh, that's some black guy. But they'd be like, yeah, but who is he? Haha, <laughs> I know, I know. So I'm throwing my hat in the ring. I want to be on the undercard. If something happens, it'll give me the push that I need to get back into shape because I'm so lazy. Um, I don't know, even know who the hell I could fight. Um, I my, my, my stats are, they're kind of interesting because I'm a short king. I'm a towering 5'6", but right now I'm just under 230 pounds. I carry it well, like I don't look totally like, I'm not completely like disgusting, right? Like it, it, you can see that I'm just kind of like a, a little thick, but I can probably get down to a cruiser weight or something like that. I'm just saying, if anybody wants to step up, throw down with your boy, you know, just hit up iDubs, we're gonna get this going. <laughs> Look guys, I'm half joking, like, I, I, like I'm like i serious, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not even thinking that's something that would actually be a reality. But at the same time, as the great Alec Baldwin says, you miss every shot you don't take. So I'm like, I'll, I'll this is, consider this as a resume. Just put, just put myself out there, 
Um, I don't have any contact with iDubs anymore. Pretty much any contact I had with any uh, YouTuber or whatever that was, you know, skyrocketed, you know, millions of followers or whatever. I lost all of that when I, you know, I got my <laughs> got my Twitter account suspended. You know, I, I I say it's worth it, but then in moments like this, I'm like, oh shit, I can't I I can't DM iDubs. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. And so stupid overall but at the same time it still is pretty funny now i know there's a mismatch in height and weight and everything but i think it would just make so much sense for idubs and chris raygun to fight now I, I see that he got lasik surgery or whatever he says it was for the boxing which probably gave him the final push to do it but obviously glasses are annoying guys when i'm not filming videos i wear glasses and keeping them clean is impossible it's it's impossible and it's the worst thing ever because then there's always like there's a smudge right here and i'm just like oh great i gotta clean it again and as soon as i put it back on there's gonna be another smudge because i hate glasses i hate it so much so i understand that now my point is chris reagan still has his glasses now i know that was one of the big things like the mannerisms and the look were like they're very similar to each other now he doesn't have the glasses, so I'm gonna have to say Chris Reagan's have to get LASIK surgery as well, and then they're gonna have to fight. This is something I need to see just as much as Idubs versus Rice Gum. This needs to happen, guys, and I need y'all to get behind this and rally behind this and make sure that I end up on some type of prelim or something. <laughs> if if not in the prelim, I at least want to be at the fight itself. So, um, Idubs, if you happen to come across this. Your boy is ready and willing. I'll smash anybody you want me to smash. Or I'll be willing to get smashed, cause like let's let's be real. I, I'm I'm not a boxer. I think I think I can um I think I can fight okay. But you know, anyone who's like a real boxer, you know, even an amateur, they probably still smash me, so let's go. <laughs> And keep moving forward.